Well, it seems the long-standing rumors of my demise are finally coming to fruition. Nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It ain't that bad, or at least not yet. <laughs> uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I've been dealing with a, a swollen lymph node in my neck uh, since April. And yesterday I was officially diagnosed with uh, head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, which is just a fancy way to say that I have cancer and it's pro they're thinking it's probably somewhere in my mouth or my throat or on my tongue, you know, somewhere in there. And uh, yesterday, Trace and I, we spent, golly, several hours talking to several doctors and different technicians on uh, the conventional treatment for this uh, this disease. Uh, we were told that this type of cancer has a very high uh, survival rate, a very high cure rate uh, if you do the treatment. And uh, But I was also warned multiple times by everybody we talked to to be prepared for, uh, you know, uh, a very rough time because this particular cancer, the treatment that they, the, it's, a, it's gonna be a combination of chemo and radiation and it's high doses. So it's uh, like a seven week period where it's very, uh, you know, supposed to be very tough on the body. So uh, currently I do plan on going through the conventional treatment. That's what my plan is right now. But I'm not discounting using home, homeopathic treatment. I'm gonna, I'm researching it. I'm gonna look into it and see, you know, what are some of the home, homeopathic treatments for this particular type of cancer. Uh, there's no question in my mind that some of those treatments can be effective. I mean, I really believe that. Uh, there's also no question in my mind that uh, if there's any kind of homeopathic treatment that's successful the pharmaceutical companies ain't going to want us to know about that because they're making a lot of money i mean we've already spent thousands of dollars and i hadn't even started treatment so uh you know they're making a lot of money and so you know i find myself in this weird situation where i, I really don't know what i'm going to do i mean i i've I feel confident that if I if if I was told that conventional treatment might save my life and uh, you know or just be buying me some time I, I wouldn't do chemo I just wouldn't do that but in this particular case I'm being told that uh, the treatment you know basically without the treatment I'm gonna die <laughs> uh, of course, I know that they're not telling me about the homeopathic stuff, so I got to look into that. But at this time, I'm planning on doing the, the full-blown chemo, get sick for, you know, three-month deal, two-month deal. Because, you know, at the, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about it, but at the risk of sounding like I'm bragging, here's something I do know. I know that I'm, I'm a tough guy. I'm a tough cowboy, and uh, I ain't a quitter. So I feel very confident, you know, I'll be able to get through this treatment better than the average guy. Now here's the most important thing I know. And it's really a beautiful thing to have this knowledge or this belief. I know that God is in control. So, you know, I, don't, I think I'm going to be fine. I'm going to live for, you know, to be 100 years old. But even if somehow cancer took me out, I, I, I'm still going to win. I'm always going to be a winner. Because I believe in the virgin birth, the perfect life, the crucifixion and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, you know, I, you know, whether it's today, tomorrow, or 30 years from now, when the whistle blows at the end of this ride, I'm going to be a winner. I'm going to be okay. I know where I'm going. And that knowledge, man, that knowledge brings me great peace and joy. So I'm, I'm good. If anyone's concerned for me, I'm good. One thing I'll say, man, as sorry a cuss as I've been in my life, and, and trust me, folks, I have been a, I have been a sorry cuss most of my life. But I've always been a believer. I believe in the gospel. I accepted Christ as my Savior a long time ago, so I'm good. I mean, I'm good. 
because I know in the end, God will be triumphant. And uh, that makes me a winner. So if you're of the mind to pray for me, and I, you know, I hope that you are, if you're of the mind to pray for me, here's you know some stuff I guess I'd ask you to pray. Pray I'll make the right decision concerning the treatment I should take. I don't want to be a fool and take conventional treatment if there's other ways to beat it. But I don't want to be a fool and take other stuff and then just fall have to fall right back to this anyway because it doesn't work. Uh, of course, you can always just pray for complete healing. It's always nice when it's in God's plan to perform miracles. And I, you know, I believe, I certainly believe. I mean, I, I know that if he wants to do that, he can do it. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, I would also ask you to pray that regardless of his plan, regardless of how this goes, that I remain faithful and I remain strong. Uh, I pray that, you know, I, I'll ask you to pray that during this time, I am a testament to God's love of his children and a testament to my love for him. Also pray for my family. Pray that they'll that they'll remain strong and that they'll have peace and comfort during this time because I, I know I know it's, no matter what this is going to be a tough time for them and I get that and I know that most importantly pray that this ordeal will will strengthen my relationship with Christ and, and not only my relationship but my family's relationship with Christ and that's that's really what's most important to me so I guess, uh, you know, the last thing or, you know, one of the things I say is I want to acknowledge the fact that I know that there's a lot of people out there who love me and who are concerned for me, who, uh, you know, are praying for me and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I want to say that I, you know, I appreciate it. I, it, it humbles me. It makes me proud to know that there's people out there who care a flip about me. And, um, you know, it's a great feeling. And I want y'all to know I love y'all too. And uh, most, if I, I, mean, I already kind of said it, but let me just reaffirm, I'm good. No matter how this goes down, no matter how hard it is on me, even if somehow uh, the stuff grows or something and it, and it takes my life, I am good. Uh, I know where I'm going. I just worry about my family. I can't deny that, but I'm good, and uh, you know. So there it is. It's out there. Uh, I'll, you know, certainly try to keep y'all updated as time goes on. Love you. Thank you.